In this module, we'll be talking about the nomenclature and the structure of various boranes. After studying this module, you will be able to understand the numbering of boranes, the naming of non-bridging substituents. You will come to know about methods of classification of boranes, neutral and ionic boranes. You will also learn about carborines. Now, you know that boranes, as the name suggests, are the compounds of boron. And boron is an element of group 13 and it is a non-metal. Whereas other elements of this group are metallic in nature. The chemistry of boron is quite different from that of the elements of this group. The tendency of boron to form covalent compounds and covalent bonds have more similarity with the carbon and the silicon which is of the next group elements. Now boron occurs naturally as borax. You must have heard of this name as borax, borax and it is nothing but a sodium salt of boric acid and having eight molecules of hydration, water of hydration. Its formula is Na2B4 O5 OH whole 4 and 8 H2O. And another naturally occurring compound of boron is kernite, which is also a sodium salt of boric acid, but here you have two molecules of water of crystallization. Its molecular formula is Na2B4 O5 OH whole 4 dot 2 H2O. Now boron itself exists in several allotropic forms. The two most stable forms of boron isotopes are B11,5 which has 80.4% of abundance and boron 10,5 which has 19.6% abundance. Now out of this B10,5 has a very high neutron absorption cross section area whereas the B11,5 which is formed after the neutron absorption of B10,5 this B11,5 upon nuclear decay emits high energy particles such as lithium atomic mass 7 and atomic number 3 and helium having atomic mass 4 and atomic number 2. Now these lithium and helium which are high energy particles can kill cancerous tissues and therefore this use of boron compounds in the treatment of cancerous tumors is called boron neutron capture therapy. In short, it is also known as BNCT. Boron compounds find use in the preparation of glazes and borosilicate glasses, which are a very high temperature compounds which have been affected by very, very high temperatures. Now metal rich borides, they are extremely hard and they have applications in turbine blades or combustion uh, chamber liners and rocket nozzles. Schematic borane chemistry, it began in 1912 with the pioneering work of Alfred Strock and his research group. The initial work involved the use of magnesium boride or magnesium diboride with acids by which a mixture of boranes were obtained. Since then, Better routes have been developed for synthesis of boranes which involve thermolysis or cracking of diborane under various uh, temperature conditions and often in the presence of hydrogen. Boron forms many hydrides like carbon and oxygen containing minerals with complex structures such as borates like silicon. In addition to simple hydrides, boron forms various neutral and anionic polymeric boron hydrogen compounds having cage-like structures consisting of maximum 12 boron atoms. These have fascinating structures. We will be seeing this in the detail when we will be moving further. Now these extensive series of volatile compounds are called molecular hydrides, boranes by analogy with alkanes. So we call boranes as the compounds of boron and hydrogen, likewise alkanes which are the compounds of carbon and hydrogen. Now boranes can be classified into mainly three classes such as clozo, nido and arachno based on their structural features. 
So now we will go for more detail into knowing about the structures of these sporanes and the types of these sporanes. Out of all the elements of group 13, boron is a non-metal. Boron has the tendency to form covalent bonds similar to carbon and silicon. It exists in two stable isotopes as 11B5 and 10B5 and an extensive series of volatile compounds called molecular hydride or boranes by analogy with alkanes, hydrocarbons. Boranes exist as ionic and neutral species. Few examples of neutral boranes are triborane 7, hexaborane 10, etc. Here, di-tri represent the number of boron and the number of hydrogen is shown by Arabic numeral. On the other hand, the name of anion boranes end with 8. For example, calcium octahydro triborate 1 negative, triamine heptahydro decaboron 1 positive ion. Prefixes like nido and closo are used for open and closed boron frameworks respectively. For example, sodium dodecahydronido decaborate 2 negative and sodium dodecahydronido decaborate 2 negative. Boranes exist both as neutral and ionic species. Neutral boranes are named as follows. A. The Latin prefixes mono, di, tri, etc. are used before borane to indicate the number of boron atoms in the compound. B. The number of hydrogen atoms in the molecule is indicated by enclosing the appropriate Arabic numeral in parenthesis directly following the name. In practice, it is permissible to drop the numeral designation of the number of hydrogen atoms in boranes. Few examples of boranes with their nomenclature have been shown in the slide. In naming boranes, the names for anions end in 8 rather than in and specify both the number of hydrogen and boron atoms and the charge. For example, B5H8 negative is octahydropentaborate 1 negative. Prefixes such as closo or nido for open and closed boron frameworks may be used when required for clarity. Now we will learn about the numbering of open boron framework as plane projection from opposite side portion of framework. The boron atom are numbered such that interior atom numbered first. Each zone numbered. In more complex cases numbering in each zone started at an arbitrary 12 o'clock position. The molecule is oriented so that the 12 o'clock position lies in a symmetry plane containing few atoms example B4H10 and will be in the portion of this symmetry plane containing the greater number of atoms example B5H11 and also it should lie opposite to the greater number of bridge hydrogens example B8H12. In the naming of the known bridging substituents, the prefixes are attached to the parent compound and number corresponding to the boron atom to which the substituents are attached. The numbering are low as possible. Few examples are shown in this slide. Now, we shall discuss that substituents for bridging hydrogen atoms in bridge positions. These are designated by symbol mu as a prefix to the name of the substituent 1. If it is necessary to distinguish between bridge positions, the bridge positions are indicated by designating the numbers of the boron atoms across which bridging occurs followed by a hyphen. The lowest possible numbers are used to designate points of bridging as is done for substituents in the examples shown here. Now, we will discuss that there are general classes of compound in which one or more boron atoms in a network are replaced by a heteroatom are formed by an adaptation of organic replacement nomenclature as carboboranes, azoboranes, phosphoboranes, thiaboranes, etc. For example, B10C2H12 is very stable, has many known derivatives and is named dicarbadodecaborane as the dicarba replacement derivative of the unknown B12H12 which is isoelectronic with the B12H10 2 negative anion. The positions of the heteroatoms in the cage are indicated by the lowest possible numbers. Boranes are mainly classified into five categories based on their structures. 
Closoborins have closed polyhedral structure with trigonal faces and nidoborins have known closed structures in which the BN cluster occupies N corners on a N plus 1 corner polyhedron whereas arachnoborins have even more open cluster in which the B atoms occupy touching the corners of a N plus 2 corner polyhedron. Hyphoborins have the most open clusters in which the B atoms occupy N corners on a N plus 3 cornered polyhedron. Conjunctoborins have structures formed by linking two or more of the preceding type of cluster together. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. We have seen that the hydrides of boron are called boranes, like alkanes. Boranes are classified into closo, nido, arachno, hypno and conjunctoboranes. Now closo, nido, arachno, hypno and conjunctoboranes have the general formulas. The closo has a general formula of Bn, H, N, 2 minus. Nido has the structural formula Bn, Hn, 4 minus. Arachno has the structural formula Bn, Hn, 6 minus. Hyphno has a structural formula Bn, Hn, 8 minus. Whereas conjunctoboranes have the general formula Bn, Hn, 10 minus. The formulas of boranes can be related to these formulas by formally subtracting H plus ions from the formula to make the number of boron and hydrogen atoms equal. For example, to classify B9 H14 minus, it can formally be considered to be related to B9 H9 6 minus. For example, if we just subtract 1 H plus from B9 H14 minus, we will get B9 H9 6 minus. So how many protons have we deducted to get this formula that we can work out? The classification of this borane is therefore arachno because it belongs to B9 H9 6 minus which is of the same general formula Bn Hn 6 minus. Now B10 C2 H12 is very stable borane and has many known derivatives. It is named as dicarbodecaborane and as the dicarba replacement derivative of unknown B11, B12, H12 which is isoelectronic with and in this respect a replacement derivative of very stable B12, H12, 2 minus anion. 